Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit, big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not none, my dad walk on. <laughs> What's going on, man? Not none. Say, man, we got a special guest in the house today, man. This guy right here, man. Y'all already know who he is. I'm not going to say <laughs> he don't need no introduction. I just know that uh, when I started Boss Talk, he was one of the first guys. I was like, I got to get this guy on the show, man, because he a boss, man. <laughs> Check it, man. My boy Carl Crawford is in the building. What's up? What's up, y'all? Man, just happy to have you, man. Hey, man, I like that uh, intro. <laughs> man, who made you hey, there we go. Like that. That. <laughs> That's XO That's music, XO. man. XO, she, she go is hard, fly. man. Okay. Yeah, I'm man. She fly. I, I'm going to be looking. Yeah, yeah, XO. Oh. Okay. And, and we didn't you know XO? No, yeah, you know, he probably don't know. She got a song with B King. No. She 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 been around a long time. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. She she been doing her thing, man. Shout out to XO, man. <laughs> man, she she dope. She go hard. She go hard. Yeah, everybody be like, oh, she sound like Megan Thee Stallion. She rap hard. Yeah, I'm what like, you say every girl. Everybody, yeah. Like, I'm like, whatever, man. She actually was around before that. Is it, is it a dialect or is it's it what? She was just first to do it. You know what I'm saying? You know, but I mean, XO was down. She was the first to get yeah, notification. That's, what, yeah, that's, that's right. Is, yeah. yeah. Notice by everybody. You Correct. Know, but you know it's. Texas, that's how we all Texas, found, man. man. Yeah. So, <laughs> when you think about uh, Carl Crawford, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, and wh who he is, the man, you know what I mean, the the, the legend, you know uh -huh. what I'm saying? <laughs> now, I want to know, I want to know who, about Carl Crawford before he was, well, you were always born Carl, Carl Crawford. Right, right. But before the baseball player, before all of that, growing up in Fifth Ward. Right. I want to know what it was like. Oh, it was just like, you know, any other kid who um, didn't have as many opportunities to uh, do what you wanted to do, but you just made the best of what what you had available, and uh, sports seems to be one of the things that you can uh, gravitate to where mm -hmm. you can stay out of trouble and, uh, you know, build something. You know, you just looked for any glimpse of, of hope, you know, and you just stuck with that. And, you uh, had siblings? Yes, I do. How many? One. Boy and girl, brother, Boy, or sister, brother, yeah. older, younger, younger brother. He's okay, like two so, years under me, yeah. Okay, so you had to set the pace because yeah, he was I looking to, up to I you. I had to be the older brother, you know. I did a real good job of that. So, uh, brought him along. I made him play every sport I played, and uh, you know, we was always together. Uh, you made him, or he wanted to? Well, I kind of like I, the times. I don't think he wanted to. You know what I'm okay. saying? But like baseball, you know, basketball at times he wanted to. He probably didn't want to play football as much. Okay, because one thing um, I realize about um, black kids is like you either want to be a rapper or right. play sports, right. one or the other. And I'm like, <laughs> what's up with that? I think that's like the only things that they see, you know what I'm saying? As um, far as like if you go to a school and have like, um, you know, show up where you, where you can learn how to draw or mm -hmm. do arts or do stuff like that. I don't know how much that stuff is available. You know, it's right mm -hmm. there. To, it's a basketball court in every neighborhood or it's other kids that want to just pick up, play up, pick up a game of football in the streets. I don't even know if they do that anymore. And baseball really is really probably the toughest things for like black kids to do. But, you know, and then they look on TV and see the rappers or, you know, or the drug dealers around the neighborhood that might look like rappers and act mm -hmm. like them. And it's, seem like that's the easiest And I think it's what they do in these schools too because I know that certain schools um, offer better things for kids because even like I know that we had um, I can't remember his name right now but he came on here and I, it was a school in Duncanville they now offer engineering mm -hmm. so he can start learning You're talking about Lodeezy Lodeezy's son uh, Son, Ziggy mm -hmm. made it Ziggy made, made it beats. Okay, In okay. school and you know, back in the days, they didn't offer Shout that stuff Ziggy like that. Right. So I'm loving that they're introducing certain things, but only into certain schools. Yeah, yeah, it was like that. I mean, it was a kind of when I was in high school, you had certain high schools that had mm -hmm. like an engineering program, magnet program, but you had to be zoned to it, or I guess pass right. the test to get in. Uh, yeah, I think that should that kind of stuff. That should, should be, be in be every everything. school. Yeah, it should be every school. It should be to everybody, and uh, um, we should be able to like learn from it. But you know. Hopefully one day you can get like that. What about them rumors, man? Fifth Ward coming up in Fifth Ward, it's supposed to be hard according to uh, Scarface. The way, yeah, I mean, yeah, the way it was depicted. I know? mean, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Fifth Ward is a rough area. It still yeah. is, you know. Uh, the movie Jason Lyrics. Yeah, know, yeah, 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 I remember that. In our neighborhood. So, uh, 
uh, it's no different. Like I say, you just come up, grow up tough, you know what I'm saying, being hard, playing sports. You either got the option to, you know, go bad or go good. You know, I just wanted better for myself. I saw uh, guys like George Foreman come out of my neighborhood and mm-hmm. make it. So once you see one person who can do it, you know, you Did feel Did you say it. George Foreman? Yeah, he's from my neighborhood. You can't say that. What you mean? Man, he from Marshall, Texas. Man, look. Mar- he be in both He might places. have moved out there, but he was... Was he born I seen in- him at J.C. Penney's in Marshall, Man. Texas. So I think he got both places. Man. I really do. He, Where was he born? I'm he's born in Marshall, that. Texas. Let's, yeah, because all his relatives and his family members, in you know, Houston. Right? But he, Houston. but he and, definitely. Um, I don't know if he, was he born there. I don't know if he was look born. Look it up. Look it up. I don't play with y'all. Listen, but listen, the stories about George Foreman in my neighborhood, <laughs> like him going around Fifth you know, like, hey, man, he was like a terror running through that. From what I heard, you know, I heard he used to turn people upside down and shake the change out of him. Oh, really? He, yeah, he so running around there terrorizing people because he wasn't from there. Yeah, I see uh, why, no, they told I see me why he, he ended up in boxing. But at the end of the day, I was still as a 10-year-old, and I've seen him pull right. up into my neighborhood. You know, like I see, I actually saw him physically with my eyes. So with that being said, And that's you awesome know, because to see somebody who looks like you yeah. who is get going somewhere in their lives. You right. know what I mean? So right. that gave you like a role model that you could look up to. Right. There he is, born in Marshall, Texas, uh, age 72. Oh, so okay. he, but he moved to Houston. Oh, okay. I, I, know, know, I, I didn't know he was born. I, I did because I'm from down there. there. Oh, That's okay. why I'm okay. like, we used to hold on to that. And matter of fact, he got a daughter named Georgetta Foreman in Jefferson. Well, all the kids named George. Know, that, that is crazy. <laughs> yeah. All that the boys so out crazy. there in your yeah. neighborhood, right? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I, uh, like I said, you know, I used to always hear, you know, it's my George Foreman, my cousin, my cousin. And then you never see him. And then he pulled up one day in a red Porsche. Wow. And when I seen that, that was like a moment for me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I just, Eye opener, right? Yeah, I was like, you know, it was it was the reddest car I ever seen in my life. And I just remember saying, you know, you know, I want to I want to have that type of car. Dope, one day. man. Yeah. So, um, were you raised Motivation. by your mom and dad? Uh, I was raised by my mom and her uh, and her boyfriend growing up. You know, I saw my dad. Uh, Whenever we want to go visit, but you know, pretty how much. is how is how is it not having your father in your life as a kid? How did that affect mm, you? Well, you know, I guess it was so normal to everybody. Yeah. You know, all my friends was like that. You know, none of us had mm-hmm. our dad in the house. So, um, you know, like I said, I had a guy raise me. You know, still from a young age. So I still had like, had a, a father figure, like a male figure around. You know, it just wasn't my dad. So, so you I weren't like rebellious. Yeah, you like you're not my dad. You can't tell me nothing. Yeah, yeah, because you know he raises for such a young age. So you okay, know, that's good. Understood. Who was at the games? Who was at the baseball games earlier? Who was at the football games earlier? Uh, was it know, your stepdad or was it your dad? Uh, at the baseball games, to be honest with you, nobody. No, came to <laughs> hey, some I used yeah. to think that I was like, the only one. <laughs> you made it. Nigga. He made it, and I was really yeah. like, I that was my. Reason for saying I didn't really make it nah. because nobody came, nigga. Nope. You, you nobody, special. Nobody <laughs> came. Man. Nobody came. Nobody didn't start coming to my games until like high school when they uh when they knew that uh, it was it gonna go like, down. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, you know, so I didn't want them there anyway. Make me nervous. Nervous, yeah, yeah. man. How, when did you start taking baseball serious? Mm. How old I, were you? I took I took. I took everything serious. You know, if it was a chance, you were that play, kid. Yeah, I I took everything. I played three sports. You know what I'm saying? Like being, you say for football. Played basketball, baseball, and everything. football. Yeah, yeah. I used. To, you know what I tell people though? I always tell people, and my son included, when he told me he was going to the NFL when he turned 18, that he told me I'm going to the NFL. But he didn't even go to the college that even depicted that he was going to the NFL because they didn't have a football team. But anyway, mm-hmm. I told him I said most cats that's going to the NFL played all sports. To to me, yeah. they were good at everything. Yeah. I, I, that's what I told him. I said they could do anything. They could play basketball. They could run track. They could play football. Anything they done, mm-hmm. it was something extraordinary about that person and their uh, athleticism. Yep. Right? Yeah, mm-hmm. pretty much. You know, that's <laughs> like I played all three sports. See? And growing the- up in Jamaica, we used to always say, because I did basketball, but they used to always say that, um, especially people were left handed, because you, yeah, you had yeah, that. Yeah, you had that advantage being yeah. a lefty compared I, to a right hand. You <laughs> know what? I don't believe that. I don't believe that. You ain't used to go out in the lefties, man. So we all exactly like, yeah. Yeah. Southpaw yeah. in, 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 in uh, yeah. boxing. Yeah. See, so yeah. <laughs> it is something different, right? Yeah. And so you are naturally left-handed, or you trained yourself to be left-handed? I'm naturally left-handed. Me and Obama. <laughs> 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 it's birthday August fourth. I'm August fifth. 
So, dang, that's dope. <laughs> Leo's in the building. Oh, that, that, that. Well, yeah, yeah, we're all Leos. <laughs> all yeah. day. 23rd of July, 26th, oh, we're yeah. three days apart. All the and you do? Oh, and he is a oh, Leo, too. Worry about the, it's, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> Hold on. And my daughter is the 15th of August. She's Leo. Yeah. My son is the 19th of August. Yeah. Oh, man. My brother, the 19th of August. <laughs> yeah. We got all oh, Leos. Yeah, that's what's going I'm on. I'm telling you, yeah. it's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, man, like, film, man. It's, it's too many kings in the room. I don't like yeah. it. You know, what I'm everybody got to have win in the in the conversation. Right? <laughs> no, but um, okay. So with you playing all those sports, let's fast forward to high school. Right. You had gotten scholarships to for each sport. Uh-huh. Why baseball? Because you know I'm from Fifth Ward. I'm from you know my 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 living conditions aren't the best. You know I want to always get my family out. So. Hey man, they offered me a million dollars when I was seventeen years old. Wow! And I don't, you know. Let's no stop I right there. Down. Million <laughs> dollars. A million and a half to be. Boy, man. nigga, that nigga. Ooh, you, it, I'm so <laughs> glad. It, it could have been. Right, the schools ain't gonna offer that at all. This was the first thing you bought. What you know? was the first thing you bought? I went by my mama's house. House. You know? That's it yeah. right there. What did what you buy for yourself? I bought a car. You know, most likely. Get bounced up there. You know, navigator on twenties. So, yes, yeah, okay, okay, if you had to go back, knowing all the things you know now, go back to that age, how would you do something different? Would there be anything you would have done different, even with the money spending? Of course, you're still going to well, buy your yeah, mama house first. Yeah, just, you know, just afterwards, you know, it's the spending you do after you get the stuff that you need, you know. So, uh, pretty much you're 17, you know, you, you or your mom never had this kind of money. So, you know. It's you going know, down. Old, yeah, you know. It's going down. <laughs> Yeah, everybody you know, in the hood talking too. Yeah, yeah. Everybody talking like they got yeah. it. They got yeah. it over there. You got we gotta move because different. I always feel I always feel <laughs> well, like you this. have to move quick. Like right. I, I, I literally moved, you know, my parents as soon as I got drafted, I moved to my you know, out yeah. of the neighborhood. You yeah, know, so, you moved um, to the country. Well, kind of like consider to us because we, you know, we had never wasn't used to going nowhere. So yeah, yeah, up yeah. A few exes up the freeway was comfortable. <laughs> you know. Man, now, because I always feel like when you hear a million dollars, you know, everybody's jumping up and happy for a million dollars. But I feel like you can run through that money. Oh, real you quick. can. Oh, you can. You can. I, I don't think <laughs> there, I, there's no <laughs> doubt you can in that. Run through it real quick because of taxes and everything. How did you deal with that? Like when you first got in, did you have, have a, 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 a like somebody to no, educate you? Yeah, I had a, a financial uh, advisor. 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 So I was good. And all that, and all those, all those areas, you know, just have to learn how stuff goes. You know, it's just automatically. Shaq, I just thought about Shaq. Shaq said he went and bought was, everybody a yeah, car. You know, he lost everything when he went to the bank. He was yeah, negative. Man. He like, damn. Just, when know, he got his deal, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know, it's just you want to help out your family members. Everybody coming in. You <laughs> they want coming to for help, you. Man. You know, you want to try to do everything and you can to help everybody. They might have gave you a dollar or something. When you was yeah. little, you know. And, but uh, after a while, you have to realize that you can't be like that with everybody. You have to make smart decisions and save your money. Yeah, Definitely. because as soon as you can't give them, they're mad. Oh, the they first is. time you tell well, them no? Oh. The first time you say no? Highly upset. They mm-hmm. forget about all them uh, yes times. Yes. <laughs> That's straight out the door. How That's one thing you? I always say. I say, How if I ever won a lottery, <laughs> I will put that money up and I wouldn't touch it for a whole year. I'll no, wait. I'm touching it. No, hell no. no you won't be with me doing that. <laughs> we getting that money. We're going to spend something. We're going to invest or do yeah, something. Yeah, because you don't know if you're going to be here a year later. Yeah, you don't do true. it like that. You know, yeah. we we blessed to be here now. Right. If you think about, about all the friends in Fifth Ward and all the friends in Jamaica that you've lost, yeah. you'll start thinking different about that whole year because you just never know. Yeah. So you can't take life for granted. Especially if friends you your own I mean? age. Yeah. yeah, people that from... 35 up, yeah. you start going to funerals a lot. Right. right. You know what I mean? So you yeah. got to be very, very different with your time. You know what I'm talking about? I know, <laughs> I, know I ain't going to wait no year. <laughs> Me neither. So uh, when you, when I, and I want to just ask, you know, like baseball was, was your, was what you chose. Do you feel like, you know, if you had to go back, what do you think would happen if you did, and and we just hypothetically talking mm-hmm. uh, football or, or or basketball was it basketball? Uh, you know what um, would happen? Were you that good? I mean, them dudes yeah, took you good, out, you know man. What, I, I, uh, what position? I was, I was the number one quarterback in the nation. Ooh. I signed with the number one team in the nation. Nebraska Ooh. was ranked. I can't number mess one. with yeah, Nebraska. Number one was ranked. Num- uh, Nebraska was ranked number one in the country in 1999. I signed as a quarterback to go play. I played point guard. I had to actually give up my, the second half of my basketball season because I wanted to start baseball season because I never played a full season. Mm-hmm. I always going to the playoffs of basketball. Yeah. But I wanted to let the scouts know I was serious about baseball my senior year. So started the first full season, you know, 
The rest is history. Man, and I yeah. think that helped, though, because yeah. they look at you and they like, this dude can do it all. This dude's just yeah. athletic. They yeah. look at all that. They have to. They do. They look at the athletic ability, speed. And, yeah. And, you know what I'm saying? My son is doing exactly I what seen him. He looked like wondering. your twin, bro. Mm -hmm. It looked like that. Well, he was smart enough. To, I ain't going to say he was smart enough because I told him to do it. I just think he was a little bit, he's a little bit more focused than me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, so playing basketball and football is a waste of time to him. Even though he can, without even warming up, just grab the ball and, and do whatever. Go dunk. I said, man, how you think you can do all that? You know, because he, he can't find it. It's no film of me playing basketball. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. Football and, and baseball so he can believe it. But you know, back then they wasn't filming as much basketball, so yeah. he can't. See, so he he don't even he can't. Can you play him? Play, I haven't played him yet, but he got it coming. <laughs> but you know, he, yeah. How is it though? Because y'all look yeah. just alike, bro. How, yeah. how, how is it like? He, he ended up getting that he? extra inch he that I didn't get. So that's why I told him, you know, he, he could have been a baseball a basketball player. I say, man, you got the extra inch. I didn't get. I would have. I think I wouldn't. Even, I probably wouldn't play basketball if I'd have been six three or six. How old is he? He uh. He's uh, 17. 17. Y'all yeah. look just like, bro. That's yeah. dope, man. Yeah. But baseball p pays more money, though. Yeah, it does. Uh, they say that. I don't know. Uh, I ain't never played baseball. And, okay, yeah. do you get less injuries in baseball than you do in basketball? Well, the way they playing now in basketball, they playing a long time. You know, I think the way they like taking care of their bodies and uh, recovery and all that stuff. Uh, they playing a while now, you know. I'm looking at like Chris Paul, you know. Yeah, like yeah, he's yeah. Ever finna stop, you know? Yeah. you know. You can play a long time in baseball too, as well. But see me, I played on turf for uh, nine years, and um, so that kind of like like slows you slows you down a little bit when you're trying to play in the league as a speed runner. Yeah. That's the only thing I hate yeah. about sports. When you look at all the injuries, and cause even with football, you remember when they came out with that movie um, Conscious with, with Will Smith? Concussion. When, concussion, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he talked about, brought your attention to all of the concussion that some of these players have. CTE, right? Right. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, who wants their kids? I guess the money is good, but yeah, is it worth yeah, it? Yeah, once they came back and the studies showed that it's real, you know, I just told my kids they don't have to play football anymore. They can play flag football just to kind of get the movements and the ability, you know what I'm saying? The right. Left turn and all that stuff. But as far as when it comes to contact, I'm not really into putting my kids in football exactly. anymore. Yeah, I'll pass on Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, there you go. Because the, yeah. the most you have problems with basketball is the knees. Yeah. <laughs> Your knees let, go. Let, yeah. Let's talk about because I didn't really get it. it how much. It, you did a second deal for a hundred and some million dollar. Uh, yeah. How did that feel that day? That I was want, with I Rays. Said, with the Devil Rays you talking yeah, about? Yeah, Boston Red Sox. Yeah, Boston Red Sox. How did, just, I mean, it's like I said. How did you feel, man? Let's talk it's, about that. It's just, it's just, you know, just. Yeah, I'm going to go sign this paperwork. I got to do this. You ain't lady. You understand. <laughs> you know where you come from and you get to this point and you just never even. Never in a million years would I thought that, you know, me playing baseball would ever, like, would I even ever be able to mention that type of stuff. So, um, just to get to that point from where I started from was just amazing, you know what I'm Man. saying? Just to see how it's, it's still going and stuff like that. Like, I, I happened to uh, just walk, what got me serious about baseball, I just happened to walk into a random corner store one day and saw that uh, Carl Everett had signed for $50 million. This mm, was in, like, oh. 1996 or something. I was in about the 10th grade. I remember saying, Jesus, you know man. what I'm saying? I could it, You talking, man. You know? It's that serious, yeah, bro. Yeah, man. So like when you think about when you think about what you done, you it's a freak you're a freak of nature, man. Like everybody don't do that, bro. Man, That's just, the thing that you gotta realize. Like being in the picture, sometimes you can't see the picture. You know right. I'm telling the truth. Right. But but for you to do something like that, man, that's that's way for me. That's a hey. That's way up there. Man. Yeah, MVP there many me. times. Oh, man. I beast, mean, beast mode. Right. Yeah. You broke a lot of records. I mean, like, yeah, I, man, I just like you I did said, amazing. I was just trying to like you know do the best I can, leave a good legacy for my kids. Uh, you know, and, and and when you know when you black in baseball, you you gotta be good. It is yeah. no the only way you can be up there is if you're an all star. You know, so. Mm -hmm. Um, like and you four time all star. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so um, I wanted to ask. Um, so Hall of Fame. How how does that work? Because I think it works with like writers. The writers, you know what I'm saying, have to vote. Then like we just got our letters in the mail where we can all vote for our peers. When are you also. getting in there? When they vote for me, I guess I gotta get popular <laughs> yeah, enough. Man. You know, I gotta get in there. You know, so because um, you did a lot. Because I thought they would look at all that you've accomplished. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Right. No. Well. It's like over time, that's my first year, you know, and I'm a speed guy, you know, but I just look at it as like I played really well during the steroid era, which was 
tough to play in. Well, yeah, I time. bet. So um, I hope they, I hope they consider that. Man, <laughs> come on, man, you gonna be all right, man. Yeah, I think you. I, you know the, what I'm saying? You got that favor, man. Yeah. I can tell, man. Yeah. So popularity, doing stuff like, like you know, with the record label and just being popular outside of baseball. I hope that helps too. I think well. it will. You know, so I just want to keep doing positive stuff outside in the community, so they can like just see. And then with me coming back with my son, hopefully, you know, I'm, you know, get back into coaching. I'm debating whether I want to like. No coach when he gets drafted or something like that. I like you know it, man. So, How many kids you have? I have five kids. Five. How no. many boys? Three boys. Got another boy that's coming right after my oldest son. How's know. he? How's he in sports? All of them, really? Yeah, he he might be the number one pick in the whole draft. You know? They, really? They just, wow. They just come out, man. I bet I see them when they like. Two two years old, and I just be amazed because you know I don't have to teach them that. You know I they already they get it naturally. Yeah, man. Are you doing the same thing for the girls? Because I remember growing up, my, my dad would always do everything my, for the boys, my, and the girls like, my, oh no, you a girl. My, I, got, you. I got the girls. She, my girls are athletic. They just don't know it yet. They okay. just don't know what they can do yet. But I see them around the house. They play with the boys. They got a lot of energy. I'm just waiting to kind of see what they gravitate to. So you're not gonna treat them differently. You're gonna nah, still they're gonna be aggressive too. I'm gonna make them dominate the girls. Oh, okay, okay. I want of course I would like for my girls to play tennis, but hey, that look like I might have a couple hoopers on my hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what There's nothing yeah. wrong with you that. got two girls. Huh? Yeah I got yeah. two That's girls. That's dope, man. Yeah. Um, it's just a girl, you know, there ain't no money in the basketball. You know I want That's to, what you know I see. Yeah, I wanna go where they where they can get paid. Yeah, know? yeah, golf? yeah. I mean you play golf? Nah, so I don't think. I don't you know either. what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't, I, don't I, I, either. Either. I like to. I'm telling me the track or basketball. I mean, yeah. a track or um, or, or volley. I mean, or, or tennis. Tennis. Yeah, they and can they make might good money. Play softball, you know. Yeah. But, um, I don't know. Yeah, you know, it's hard, man. It's <laughs> hard on the girls, man. <laughs> But we definitely we know y'all in the building and we know y'all yeah. run thing. We just we just here. Exactly. I'm, I'm just hoping exactly. I'm just hoping that one day like the basketball like take off. You know where they can right. get paid more. You know right. that would be I better. I think it's gonna take like a girl to just come down the lane and just mash one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it'll take. Dunk, you know what I'm saying? And then like get like some. People you never watching. know. It might be your daughter. Hey. Man, hey, you know, <laughs> I hope so. Let's, let's, I want to get into let's, the music, man. Right, right. I want to get up. I, I, first, I, I want to say, man, you have done an extraordinary jo job uh, going into the music. I think of you. I think about. I, I really. I think about the Jay Princes. I think about the uh, Masterpiece. I think right. about the Birdman's. You know what I mean? In the South. Mm -hmm. um, and I look at you and what you're doing, and I, I put you in these categories because it's promising to see something new, you know, that transpires in the music. I've been dealing with music ever since rap came to the scene. I'm older cat, and I just, I, I'm a, I got a heart for music, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, and when Jay Prince and them did what they done, uh, I definitely was, I was in cahoots with it. Uh, like I said, Master P was one that came kind of behind him, and then you got, of course, Birdman. Mm -hmm. um, I, that's the only ones I kind of consider. I'm kind of biased. I like, I like who I like. <laughs> nah, I'm a, sure, I like the sure, bosses, sure. man. You know what nah, I'm saying? Sure, so sure. when I think about that and I think about what you've done, thank you for the music, man. Right. You know, uh, starting off, like I say, uh, I think I seen somewhere you 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 became friends, I guess, with T. Ferris. I don't know how that relationship started. Right. No. Well, we uh, me and T. Ferris knew each other from Little League baseball. Okay, so y'all already knew yeah, each other. Yeah, like nine, ten year old kids, you know. So um um yeah, that's pretty much knew him, so, knew him early on. So y'all knew each y'all grew up together. We didn't grow up together. We knew each other during baseball season. You know? Okay, cool. Yeah, he so played he, ball. Baseball. Yeah, he played ball. He played on another team when we was younger. I played on the, the winning team. And, <laughs> like um, he said, I you know played on saying? the winning team. So, and, uh, <laughs> and you know, toward the end of the year, you know, uh you get to pick up players and stuff like that and then y'all you, have like this little all star team, then you go play state. You know, I won state four times. Back there, and uh, you know, it was like it was just like one. It was an all black, all black baseball league that you never, you probably never seen this before, and never seen it again. But from age eight to fourteen, they had all these teams. Uh, everybody was black. The parents, you know, was real organized and. You know, did stuff together, and it was like one big little little happy family back there. So, so I'm, I, and when I heard you speak on, I heard you say that when you got out of. When you retired from baseball, right. you went directly into the music. Right. And when you went directly into the music, you and T. Ferris kind of, you moved him in with you or something? Yep, I moved him into my house with him. I'm the type of person like my coaches would tell you. I wish I was your uh, friend. <laughs> yeah, I'll move in with you. And, and you'll hey, be listen, like, look, hey, listen, man, hey, listen, look, hey, listen, man, hey, I'll move in. 
Nah, you, you, I, I can move to Houston. Listen. Nah, I'm gonna do music, man. Nah. <laughs> you see, how I got in trouble right there. Nah, nah, nah. nah. nah man. it's just uh, you know, I'm a quick learner. I, I'm, I'm, my coaches will tell you, I, I, I pick stuff up quick. I, you give it to me, you ain't got to tell me too many times, and I want to know it. Same thing with him. I just knew that I'm behind. I know he had all the information, so I'm type. You know, going to pick you up and doing this stuff. I wanted to know about music. I wanted to wake up talking, breathing music every single day, you know, and just put it in my system as much as I could. The only way I can do that is by moving you in with me. So when I move them in with me, you know, as soon as we get up, you know, it's hey, conversation. Yeah, it's like all throughout the day, we riding through the city. We just constantly, just constantly talking about what we're going to do, how we're going to do it, and things I need to know, you know. So it was just like, I was just like putting all that information into my body before I did any, anything, you know. I, wow. So. How long before you actually did that were you thinking about starting this business? No, I was already thinking about starting a business. It was, I did that for like a, uh, six to eight months before I put out music. You yeah, know? right. You know? But how long before that did I were about, you thinking about this? Right. Oh, this idea came up in about like 2008. You were playing baseball oh, okay. though, but so you couldn't was, focus was, all the way yeah. on it. Right. Yes, so yes. you already knew that's what you wanted to do when yeah. you were exiting. Yeah, I knew that's what I want to do. I knew a lot of guys had tried it, and I didn't want to. You know, when I thought about doing it while I was playing, I was like, when I looked around, I said, Nah. Um, this you ain't gonna be able to do this while you playing. You know you gonna have to like your focus. You gotta put your whole yes everything gonna, into it. You ain't gonna it. be able to have one foot in and one foot out. Mm -hmm. So I realized that early, and I just laid back. You know until you know it was time for me where I could strike and just do it all the way. Like did T like T Ferris? I know like I, and I want to stay on that a little bit. After you showed him all, well, he showed you everything that was going on with the music, and you pretty much you and him was. Was it a thing where you was it uh, a thing where you you kind of paid him for co consultation? Yeah, everything. I you paid see what I'm guy, saying? I paid this guy. I paid this guy every month. You know. What so I'm you saying? paid for consultation. Yeah, I paid him every month for consultation. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I say, he was he was really wasn't had too much going on. Just taking money for little local people. Well, I only heard him on Pow Wow say T that T that he would Pow Wow would call his name all yeah, the time. Yeah, Pow Wow the only one gave him a shot. <laughs> That's the only one Powell. I ever heard him call Powell. his name. Pow Wow is his little his little uh, his little his little baby or whatever you want to call him. <laughs> That's you know, he don't go vouch for him in times. You know, like, yeah. You know, the only reason why I'm saying is Pow Wow made. Came to his defense at a time when it was just yeah. his business. It wasn't none of your business, Paul Wall. So, so he just stepped out there and said yeah, something. Because hey, you got the, because you the bigger, you the bigger figure than me. So everybody, of course, gonna listen to well, what he, you well, say. But you know, music, you know, in music, yeah, music, right? But you know who T. Ferris is, bro. Yeah. I had to learn him too. The thing is, I just hadn't been at home in Houston for a while, you know. But y'all know who you knew who you know who T. Ferris is around Houston, and he pulled the biggest. The biggest what the biggest scam of the of the century on me, you know. So, so. he's never done nothing like this before. For he's done like well, this. No, no, he is. So. Said, you know he is because if he done something no. like this before and you heard about it, you would have you know he thought twice yeah. no, before no, you did no, something what like that. I heard about it, you know what I'm saying? But this is a friend of mine, T. Ferris. So you know, guys are always telling me, "Hey, watch out for this T. Ferris." Oh, so you guy. had warnings. Well, I, I had warnings, and that's why I, at the end of the day, I yeah, take the blame. You take the hell on that one, man. Right. Right. I, all the stuff that happened, I take it, but yeah. you know, it don't stop me from voicing your opinion about it. Exactly, but. I was one, you know what I'm saying, and everybody know about it, and um, and uh, you know he got, he got me good, you know what I'm saying, and uh, but at the end of the day, you know I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a warrior. I always bounce back, as y'all can see. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. But, <laughs> but, 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 I want to ask yeah, about yeah, Pow Wow, yeah, like yeah. like he, why he, he, why would Pow Wow even say anything in it uh, exactly. when it's not even uh, is, well, because, is it? I mean, well, you, no, would, I made a, have I made, you ever talked to him? I made a post saying stuff about. T. Ferris, you know, and, and that was between me and him. And but he decided to go and make a post saying, "Oh, you know, he's never done nothing bad to me." Or not. of course, he's nothing done bad. Nothing. He ain't done nothing bad to you, uh, Paul Wall. You, you know, you like his little pupil. You his little star pupil. He gonna make you mad. Now go ask Mike Jones that same question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. Now let's see what he say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> nah, we ain't gonna do that. Uh, 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 yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. Mike Jones been on the <laughs> you know show. Shout saying? out to Mike Jones, yeah, man. You know, so it's like, and then other people that you can ask. Now you know, you know, Megan is doing well right now. So guys, you know, Mike might want to say what they want. They all think they're going to get this um, secret Megan the Stallion verse one day that I have to approve at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's funny, but, uh, you know, it's just like, man, they really, he really, he really turned on me. You know what I'm saying? I put a lot of trust into that guy. Never talk to him again. Never, still haven't spoke to him. From the day, from the day Megan posted her picture with Jay-Z, I haven't talked to either one of them 
since that day, and I just felt like that's just the. That's just like the, you know what I'm saying? That's just and the he's no stuff. longer part of 1501. No, no, no. He been checked out way before I even knew, you know, like they, mm. I was just so like, so like um, clueless to everything, man. You know, that's what upset me because they understood that I was clueless to everything, didn't know nothing. So it was easy to just do what they did to me, you know what I'm saying? But me being a person who I am, I learned what really happened, you know, now you know, I, I, now I know. Now you know that I know what really happened, and you know, of course, you don't want to say nothing to me. You hate when I say when I talk out in the media and stuff like that. But so it's like, they, you know they, what I think it was? I think it's not that you're so clueless. I think you're just too much of a trusting person, right? Because the thing is that um, Leo's man, <laughs> we be trusting. Yeah, but as we get older, we learn. Yeah, I'm telling yeah. you, yeah, we learn. But yeah. the thing is that because. I've seen in interviews where you just put everything in his hands because he had more knowledge right. and you didn't, you know, double check. Right. You know, do your due diligence no. and double check on a lot of different things that you were supposed to double check on. Right. Um, I don't know if it's because you were too busy or too, but at the end of the day, it's your business. So you have uh, to do certain things. See, at the end of the day, I mean, you know, like I've heard so many stories about guys coming into to the music and letting just they partner do it. I really didn't let him just do it. Like like I say, we live together. I was mm -hmm. over his shoulder all the time. But I'm clueless to the rap game, so I don't know what moves you're making or how you're talking. I don't even know what questions to ask, really. I just kind of have to take what you give me, you know what I'm saying, for that day. And so he took advantage of that, you know what I'm saying? How different is the baseball business part? The to business. the rap business it's totally different. Way different. Like, to it's the business because business is different. It's just know? way more secure. Like this is really like 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 some um Tetris stuff in the music industry. Like nobody like, cares. They're, they're, like, they're, it's, they're it's eat evil. your life. It's, it's no trust. Like it's all bad. Like it's nothing. They eat your life. Nothing sacred about it. You know what I'm saying? Like for as for as baseball or sports, you know everything is. Hey man, you know every two weeks you get paid. Everything is up and up. Like it's no. It's none of this uh, backstabbing, crazy stuff that you go through in the music industry. I, so, I told Sean him. Cotton, I was like, man, I couldn't yeah. do it, man. I told him, I'm this, he came on here, I said, bro, you got, he thought, I got 18 artists. I'm like, nah, <laughs> hell no. Nah. I don't trust nobody. Yeah, yeah. I don't trust. It's hard for me to trust. I don't think people going to do right. And something right. that he said, and I'll never forget, he say, you never know nobody until they get money. Mm -hmm. Right. That's right. what he told me. Right. And I'll never forget that because I know he ain't lying. These yeah. niggas will change on you. When the money start coming, that's when that's when things get different. So let me <laughs> if you had to go back, sorry, babe, but um, knowing what you know now, when you left baseball, would you still have gone into this entertainment business or would you have chosen something else? Nah, see, I like I can only do things that I have a real passion for. You know what I'm saying? So I had a passion for this. Only thing I would do is just like I would I would have just looked over him, had somebody over looking over T Ferris all the time. I just let him run wild, you know, mm -hmm. by himself, you know what I'm saying? And that was a no no. Okay, with transitioning from baseball to this, I know that you were dating Evelyn Lozado. Right. Um, did she play any part in motivating you to do this business? Because, you know, Having you know, a that partner to, you know, yeah, help see, you with, with her being in the in the entertainment business already, you know, I don't think she was too excited about me coming to the music industry, you know. So uh, nobody is ever excited about their uh, uh, other going into this business because uh, there's always a lot of, uh, you know, partying, women, and stuff like that. So it just looks bad, you know. So um, They can be there with I you. To, I had to kind of, you know, if they believe, you know. I don't think she believed too much in the beginning. So if that's They the never case, believe in the get beginning. You know what I'm saying? And that's the case. They man. never <laughs> believe in the beginning. <laughs> whatever yeah, whatever, whatever you're trying to start, they're yeah. not going to believe it until you prove it. Yeah, so that's what Because it, a lot of things for us, we're looking at the money. We're looking at a lot of different things. And I'm like, are you sure you want to make that? You know, because yeah. we we like sure stuff. Yeah. You got to show us, okay, we're going to get this return. This is how it's going to work, whatever. Right, right. Then we're like, okay, yeah, we can do this. Yeah. No, I understand. You know, I hear you. I understand. But I it hear was you. Like, man, I was just like, I just I just knew that I had a recipe that, you know what I'm saying, um, that could work. Well, and let me just say this, man. You've been winning all this time. Why would you be putting your, you know, uh, what she say, what he say? At the end of the day, you already had proved that you were a winner. Right. So you knew already, you, you are not insecure in winning. Right. So you knew already that the decisions you make primarily had to be your decision at the end of the day. That's right. He already knows that. Yeah. Because he a Leo and he a boss. <laughs> okay, now let's get into the music and let's just kind of stay on it a little bit. Okay, yeah. baby. All right. Let's, let's do <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. so uh, 
when you and and, and I, I want to ask you about. I, I don't want to stay on the Megan. Th- Everybody asks you the same question. Do you get tired of answering the same damn question? Well, I haven't been talking in a while, and the thing is, okay, you know I look back I'm at here, some I'm here, to, I'm here to always clear my name. Like, so that's why I was able to talk. You know, when you think about Megan Thee Stallion, when y'all came together, how many did she have? A hundred thousand followers when y'all first got I think together? She had probably like a hundred and twenty thousand. Hundred twenty thousand fo- yeah. followers when she was taking that picture with Jay Z. Mm-hmm. How many followers did she have? She had over a million followers then. But that was that was during the time you guys had worked yep. with her to get there. Yep. Mm-hmm. That was uh Oh, we built it up. Yeah, I mm-hmm. seen the I seen the build up. The yep. build up was crazy. Yep. Mm-hmm. So do you feel like when you done it, do you think that she and you, you know, you could have got you should have got had a closer relationship with her? Yeah, you know, she's my first big artist. So you see what I'm saying? So, so, but this is where the T Ferris come back and I hate to make him the theme of the night, but it's just what it is, you know. Him knowing and keeping the division between, I bought him a new truck just to drive her around in. You know, he next having them day, conversation. You know, next night, now all of a sudden they riding in the front seat mm-hmm. with each other. He picking up. He not even telling me he going to go get a. He going to go. He going to the family functions. He ain't telling me nothing. You know, he all everything was about him positioning himself to where he can get in her head and like turn her. You know, turn make it seem like, you know. It was me against her, you know, when it never was me against her. I never had no issues with her. We had, like, one situation where me and her mom, you know what I'm saying, got into an argument one time. And uh, that's just because two strong-headed people just met up. It happens, you know what I'm saying? We apologize, stuff after that, you know. I know I'm only telling you this because, you know, I heard from around the way T. Ferris was trying to use that as a reason for why she didn't yeah. want to, mm-hmm. I don't believe that because, you know, me and her mom made up and we apologized to each other. But other than that... We never had no situation with Megan. I never told her no to nothing. We gave her every single thing she wanted. I never, you know, stole money from her or did nothing. You know what I'm saying? I try to treat her like she was like my little sister or something. You know what I'm saying? So when all this stuff happened, I literally was like the confused person. You know, and they knew I was gonna be like did that. Did you? I mean, did you have? Had you? I, you had to have some paperwork on this. You still wouldn't be yeah, in a yeah, life. Yeah, we still we had everything going on. You know. I, I, I How do you cut out of a deal, though? Let me let me Man, let me listen, ask that. I, I got to ask on. that. I, I want to say, you know, shout out to my boy Devon Stevens. You know, I know he. You know, they. I know he probably don't want me to say his name right now. You know, but at the end of the day. Man, they really would have got me good had, you know, he kind of, you know, told me. Stepped what in was, and helped. Yeah, you know, I came in from Miami one day, and he just pulled me to the side and was like, yo, bro, they finna cut you out. You know what I'm saying? He could see it. Yeah, he was like, yo, they finna squeeze you out. They finna sque-. And I'm like, what you mean squeeze me out, bro? I'm happy. We in Miami. Whoop the whoop. What is you talking about? He mm-hmm. said, hey, man, mm-hmm. they finna squeeze you out. And I Double just, check everything. Yes. So when he told me this. I'm like, shit, what the, <laughs> squeeze me out. I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking we moving secure, forward together. Right. I'm not even understanding this a problem. So, you know, of course I gotta go talk to my consultant back home, Phil Ward, the OG, Lil J. I go tell him about this conversation that I had with this guy. And you know, he starts to tell me, yeah, he's been here and well, and now it's getting real. And now I'm starting to see all the funny shit, you know what I'm saying? Your eyes open. All this, and I'm just like. So you had man. already contacted, well, not Jay Prince, but Lil J, the, the son. No, not the son, the dad. The dad. You already had talked to him. As soon as you heard that, you saw as, as soon as I heard that, I went and gave him a call because I'm like, I don't even know who to call if they finna. Because he knows everything about the business. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, so I didn't he know nobody tell. else to call. Right. You know? So yeah, called him and he kind of gave me the heads up what was going on. And, and how to deal with it. Yeah, they got, you know, they got, Megan got so mad at Devon, she like, you know, started talking crazy to him, you know what I'm saying? Getting mad because they told me, you know what I'm saying? It was like, yo. You know what I'm saying? They really was. They You're really, really trying to take you for. Yeah, uh, just yeah. Use I'm, like, you I'm like, wow, but I, what did I do? You know what I'm take saying? Your, take your, all yeah. your resources that you dedicated to that project, yeah. dealing with them, and say, yeah. you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm out of here. I'm yeah. not going to even try to. Would they have cut you all the way out if they could have? Oh, yeah. You <laughs> see what I'm saying? Like, was, nothing. That, I don't want. That was the plan. That was the plan. No more talking to you at all. It was like, you know, you know, that was the plan. The plan was to go over, you know, go over Rock Nation, whatever, get with the big lawyers and stuff and, you know, boot me out. Do do what they doing. But, what they, you know but what I'm Jay-Z saying? on the other end or whoever his people are, right. nobody was trying to even contact you out of respect because you were on the paperwork or they just didn't show up the paperwork? Nah, they weren't. They weren't. They didn't have no respect for me, bro. They was coming in um, to take everything. You know what I'm saying? They was wow. trying to get the contract voided. They was trying to get out the contract. 
and and Hun T Ferris was gonna ride off into the sun. How did that make you and feel then, about them? Is that just it's just business? Nah, I just I, just, you, I, just, I, I mean I just, I'm talking I, about Rock Nation. Rock Nation? Yeah, like uh, how do you feel about the way that they did business uh, outside of what you already would you know dealing with? I just felt like you know I guess that's what the big labels do. They come in, they let you build it all up. They come in and, and find the smallest mm-hmm. thing, tell you it's a problem. Like in her case, if you and this ain't me making it up. Is you know she say. Oh, uh, her publishing. I'm like, her publishing? You know what I'm saying? At this time, I don't know nothing about a publishing or mm-hmm. nothing. So, how, you know, so this, she say Rock Nation came and showed her that, oh, I was taking too much of her publishing. Oh, okay, well, that's an e- easy, easy fix. You know what I'm right. talking about? You can come and switch it. You know what I'm saying? You're a big star now, whatever. We have to do what we have to do. Nah, they was like, nah. They So they made it look like. She had it in her mind. She wanted to yeah, go already. she wanted to go. She wanted to shit on me. How did you stop me. it? I didn't stop it. Well, I stopped it because oh, I had you to call stopped Lil it. Jay. Yeah, I called, you stopped I called Lil Jay, you know what I'm saying? And, um, and it stopped. To, and had to, yeah, had to, <laughs> we had to slow it down because they was moving yeah, fast. It's, they was coming. It's slow they, down. They was coming. Woo, they was coming. They was coming strong. You Man, know how I'm important saying? is it to have a, a guy like Lil Jay or uh, Jay Prince Man, that you can call? important because, you know what I'm saying? It's stuff like that when uh, it's like a. Well, you know when you try to when somebody is bullying you like or finna like do something that like that to you and uh you know it's cool to be able to call somebody that can kind of just you know get in there and handle those type of situations for you now um you know granted everybody they ain't got that kind of relationship with mm-hmm. luckily enough for me i did and uh like i said i always i always wanted to share what i did with houston with houston people i understood that i used the blueprint you know what I'm saying from the little you days, from it. the from the Swisher House, yes, yeah. you see. So I had no problem with just one. I wanted to share 1501, Megan, everybody with everybody. Mm-hmm. T. Ferris and and, and 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 Megan, they had other. Other other yeah. And that's how it is. Shit. You're gonna you know always have people around <laughs> yeah. you nah, who don't have the same yeah. vision as you. Right. But what I look on in any situation that we go through in life, right. what you're going through, what any of us go through, that it go it happens for a reason. God put us through different things for a reason to learn from it yeah. and to make you stronger for other things that will Ooh, occur God. later on. Hey, see preaching. Yeah, you I understand what I mean? I understand. I just understand why it haven't happened to me. You know, it's one of them things because, <laughs> no, because that was like one of the first it. time in my life where I made a plan for something and it went exactly as planned. Like, you know what I'm talking yeah. about from how it started to finish? Yeah. It went exactly as planned. And for no reason, it just, it just they decided, hey, man, we... You done you do it, but you, you learned know. a lot more about the business after that. Yeah, I did. I learned. You yeah. see what I mean? I, I, that, I wanna, I, if that didn't happen, you right. wouldn't have been now, on that track me, to learn. Right, right, I right, want right. to ask about right, the first. That was the first artist officially that you had put on the. Well, no, she wasn't the first artist. Who was she the just first? the biggest one. The first artist was uh, some guys out of my neighborhood. And you, you just you yeah, brought yeah, them like on. I, said, I just came on. Yeah, guys out of my neighborhood. How, you went back into dealing with Erica Banks. How right. how was that different from? Uh, the, the first time when you was dealing with this, and how did that how did that relationship start? Uh, the relationship started with me just reaching out to her. You know what I'm saying? And me wanted to prove a point to everybody. But I, I seen her with uh, I seen her with I seen her with Top Off. I had half pint on here. I right. asked him about it. I say, how did that happen? And he was like, that's where she wanted to go. I don't hold nobody if they want to go. Have the paperwork ready. You know, the what paperwork wasn't right. Yeah, that's it. Like if you have that stuff ready, it's cool. Yeah, I you know about that. All, yeah, right. All I do is ask. Hey, did you sign anybody? You got anything? They gonna tell me yes or no. Yes you or know, no. I'm not asking about half pint or nothing like yeah, that. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. She told. Me no, and there's no official thing to them. Hey, I'm coming in, and you're gonna do business. Come in, yeah, man. I get it. Yeah. And how are you handling her differently from how you handle? Yeah. Well, with them, you know, I'm a little more. You know, I talk. (laughs) You know, I'm saying you gotta talk. I got to talk to these. You gotta talk to them. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have a better relationship. Like I said, y'all didn't. I didn't. It ain't like I had a bad relationship with Megan. I just didn't know that I was supposed to be. Yeah, in her shit all the time. Mm-hmm. I didn't know I'm supposed to be part of her whole life all the time. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, um, with with Erica, a little the communication we 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 talk it's better. It's better than that, you know. Plus, uh, you know, um, we never we this bad deals that I give out right, where they at. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I mean, but you got you got to be down with that though. But a lot of people, people, lot of people boss, say that huh? yeah. boss is gonna get that kind of rep. The baby, yeah. the 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 uh, the the, the, the Jay Prince. They, they put this thing out there. I gave out bad contracts and all this mm-hmm. stuff. You know, but uh, that's what that's what know. bosses get. Yeah, you you that's a part of it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, well, <laughs> we don't hear no complaining. No, nah, you know, it's like Th- that's a part of yeah. it, dude. Yeah. I just, I just know that when you, when you started to, uh, 
So was that uh, the Busted song? That's something that you guys did under your umbrella. Was that song that was already rolling? She already had a song. She already had put it out. She had got 30,000 30, streams on it already. Okay. You know, so when I when I heard the song, you know, I was like, man, I'm, you know, what I'm saying I can do something mm -hmm. with it. I took the song, got it, and then I put it out, and then we put our thing behind it and you know what I'm saying that's when it started to grow yeah I seen that man the TikTok and, and all that stuff uh -huh. it may go has Gold it gone platinum yeah, yet it's platinum already certified so we but you haven't gotten the plaque yet well we uh the ARA just kind of like uh noticed that it uh, okay. went platinum you know? awesome yeah. so, congratulations so platinum. Two platinum recording congratulations I love congratulations. it two, two, recording, two platinum recording artists awesome. that's dope yeah. man I, I, I love it it's a Texas thing for me yeah. so I'm over here tripping you know what I'm saying I'm the yeah 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 <laughs> all these with the, with the girls, because I've always heard people say it's harder to deal with the ladies than it is for men. Well, that's what they say, you know what I'm saying? But if you kind of like, you know what I'm saying, has a, have a recipe for it, it ain't this bad. To me, the girls are like winning because they like do all the tedious stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, like guys, for some reason, you say, go make this video, do it like this, do it. Uh, you know what I'm saying? They want to do their own <laughs> thing, man. You know what? A video, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're they going to they they listen. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... So what you saying is stun a bam. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just saying the girls just seem like they'll do the work. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. And then they actually rapping too as well. Oh, man, it's dope, man. Stuff, I love so what you're yeah. doing. Yeah. So you looking it. for more female rappers? All the time. I'm Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman, <laughs> you, I'm bringing you, you them all that, to the light. That's, that's, you know, God, that's your like, niche. Listen, yeah, when yeah. God give you something and he show you good at it, you're supposed to double down. Yeah. You Especially know. when other people don't really want to deal with them. Right. I don't know. A lot of people have been really dealing well, with girls with lately. Girls, it was like, it's, like, it's like people are starting to realize it. They now. are. So it's all this number one girl at the top. No, it's going to be like a wave. You a know wave, what I'm saying? Yeah. So I want to be... In, right in the thick of that wave, coming, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. You gonna, gonna be? One. I wanna have multiple. You, you know gonna be? Saying? Ain't yeah. no, ain't no if fans about it. So, yeah. so Stunner Bam, uh, D Raw, uh, who else is it? Smoothie. We just got. Oh, yeah. Smoothie. That's that's my boy. I didn't know if y'all. Uh, so Smoothie is official. Yeah, that's okay. what I'm talking about, man. Uh, yeah. So Smoothie is, man, that's different. How you gonna yeah. handle that? I, I, in my mind, I was like, okay, it's, hey man, I, I just know Smoothie lit, man. He live, man. We he live, very man. live. I mean, you he got a little rapping punchline. I think that's Texas, thing. man. Yeah, man. That's like, Texas all day, play, man. And then he like, he like played football. You know, he, he was did. a running back. He I was did. a quarterback. So that's he right. Understand like little stuff that you know what I'm saying that kind of translates over into the music for us, like team wise or what my or why I might want him to do certain things. You know what I'm saying? So it's cool. And that's my boy, man. You he know play, that he already. He played running back. I played quarterback. I say <laughs> be like handing the ball off. Hey, you. man. Let you, let you go. So <laughs> so when, when, when can we get some music from? When, when are we going to? I already got music. I know we he just, got a lot. We just, we just trying to like uh, get it all together. You know what I'm saying? And uh, figure out which one we're gonna go with. But he got the song called Chad Butler that we. Yeah. That yeah. We, man, I love yeah, that song, we, boy. I love that song. I be posting that thing. Man. Everybody been liking it, so that's the one we kind of been rolling with. So, like, when you look at the sound that you creating over there, I know you got, I know you got different producers, but Sergeant J, man, Sergeant, Sergeant J, J, man, man like Sergeant listen, Sergeant man, J, he like, that's my he guy. Like, really it was, a, it was a gym that came with Erica. And yeah, I seen that. Grace of God, you know, he done fell um, in our lap. Like, <laughs> we trying to take full advantage of him because um, I always told him I feel like. Um, you know, the way his work ethic is, he stays in the studio. Yeah. Like, Lil' Jew was in, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Was, was, was I the seen same him. way, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, T. Ferris did shit with that too, nah. you know what I'm saying? So I didn't get him. So I ended up, you know, learning how to do it with Sergeant. I signed Sergeant J. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? We all been, we all been cool. Yeah. That's good. You know, he, he, do, he do all our stuff. 15 I see him, man. And, and yeah. you know, that's my guy. So I'm on the phone like, man, what y'all got going over there, man? Mm -hmm. I've been trying. I know I was going to get in now, mm -hmm. me and see. I got a car here now. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to get Erica. I yeah. can't wait to get you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting everybody over here yeah, eventually. Yeah. They got to come through here. I, but I want to come down to Houston and come to your spot. I really yeah, do. Come yeah. on to my studio. It's yeah. cool. We do a lot of, you know what I'm saying? You can do it. Uh, yeah, I can set on, this uh, up. Can I set we went to Houston last time we set up at Pudge Pub Studio. Yeah, yeah, SUC. Hud. Oh, okay. Yeah, Pud. Mike D. Uh, it was uh, Pud Empire. Uh, Pud Empire. Oh, he okay, would okay. he he come up with Mo City with uh, Zero Neil. Oh, okay. So that okay, was it. Okay. That's his spot over there. But shout out to that boy, man. He let us come in. We set yeah. up. It was a nice look. We and we did thing we did one at Ronnie Spencer too. We did one at Ronnie oh, Spencer. Okay. We go every week. We go. I'm gonna come I, through I, and I see I you. Pull up on We'll be down there for New Year's. Yeah, we'll be down in New Year's. Yeah, see what we yeah 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 we gonna be around. Yeah. Um, what I was gonna ask you about is just uh. Do you feel like, do you like the way the music is uh, going in Texas, the South? Yeah, hey, look, man, we, uh, you know, we got from like, um, from like 
all the new artists coming up, all the girls coming up. You know, a Ken, Ken the man, like she really yeah. coming into her own. Don't yeah. Know, you know, um, as far as a little country town, like you see. East um, Texas, Seco yeah, P. You see Seco P them, going you know in. Yeah, so I don't really know all them guys just yet, but you know what I'm saying? When they come to me and I, I jam, you know, I, I hear a little certain little stuff. Do you, uh, how easy, how, do you listen, do you keep your, how do you, how do you keep your ear to the, to the music, to the streets? How do you do it? You know, go out still, you know. Still go out, I'm still go so out. out of the loop. People go, you know, I have a lot of like um, private parties where people yeah. come to different places and play music or, you know, like Sarge and them will tell me, hey, tell this guy here going, going on, you know, I got my engineer here, no, and uh, stuff like that. That's dope, man. It, 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 but these youngsters, man, hey, man, <laughs> say, man, good luck youngsters, with that. Youngsters got like Ooh, a, like they a, got like that a song, you know what I'm talking about? One song with the, with the, with the uh, I'm still trying to get into the uh, auto-tune stuff. You, you know like it or no? It's hard on you, ain't you know, it, man? I don't yeah, like it. You know, I didn't like it. But at you know, all. the kids love it, so it's they, like and we gotta, gotta yeah, we gotta listen. Yeah, yeah. And how you feel about you know people not so they 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 rapping singing? Yeah. Compared to those I like rapping, it. I like the T Rail. Yeah, the, the, I like the I Rod like waves. the Rod waves. Yeah. I like yeah. How you feel about that? Uh, some of them when they like uh you know got the right harmony and they you know making it sound dope like they do. I'm just like not a depressed person. Like I like to be happy. <laughs> You okay, so anybody who does that have to be it has to be a depressed vibe. I don't know. I like the Rez Deshaun, man. That's my boy. Yeah, yeah but it's, cool. it's it is a thing where you have to grab a place of pain and just bring it. So it, so that comes with pain. Okay, yeah, man. I'll be like, <laughs> God, leave man. Y'all rich, young and rich. What's the problem? Yeah. I get it, man. <laughs> so uh, what? Okay, top three artists of all time, dead or alive? Any genre? Oh, uh, top three. My, Number one. Top three artists just of all time, dead or alive. It's, just it, rap artists? In, no, in, any, any genre. genre. Any R and B, jazz, well, anybody. Top the number one artist for me is probably, I mean, probably gonna like it, but Michael Jackson. Everybody know, say Michael. Everybody Mike. say Michael. <laughs> you know Mike. Michael Jackson, Mike. man. That man. What's like, your favorite like, come song? On, man. Michael Jackson. Billie Jean. No, not Michael off Jackson. The wall. Like, like, like. Um, Living off the wall The way you make me feel hey. All that type of stuff You know what I'm talking about Like all that Michael Jackson because You know Man Who wouldn't want to go to A Michael Jackson concert I heard right I heard some guys And I'm not going to say Your name today But I'm going to give you a break right. But some people say Chris oh, Brown Lord. better than Don't Michael Jackson away. man Man I say Trick Dad Not you LD. I'm going to let you make it <laughs> 300 Nah <laughs> Nah, nah. Uh, Okay you got him Who number two uh, Number two for me I ain't never get to meet him and die. I like Pimp C was one of my. Boy, that's my. Yeah. Look at him. Look how we did. Oh, <laughs> man. It's going down. He's a Leo yeah. be here tomorrow, nigga. It's going down. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. Uh, the third one had to be uh, Tupac's cook. Tupac, right? man. I need Tupac was going to be in there somewhere. Man, he got to be, man. Yeah, yeah. Shoot. Yeah. You did, you know, it's an icon type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I know uh, they'll say you know, other people can rap better, but it was just the whole iconic. Thing about how he made he was you all feel, around, he said, you know, real, you know, people don't realize like he had nine uh, uh, cases, you know, yeah, yeah, he represented himself, yeah, you know, and won yeah. them all. Except, see that? Except, you see the, that? except the uh, the rape case, that's right. And I was like, what? Shot an undercover cop, cop and beat the case. That's you know, right. You know what I'm saying? He like, different. Yeah, like I know, like so he's yeah. so articulate. Ain't nobody, you know, ain't nobody like, did what he done during yeah. his time in the length yeah. of time he had. And to then do he what told he, us that we was gonna be like this. How we are now, and we mm -hmm. exactly, exactly how exactly right. Yeah, man, mm -hmm. you hit that on the nose. <laughs> so out of curiosity, because yeah. I know with um, running your business, you do a lot of research and a lot of other labels and stuff like that right. to be able to learn certain things. If you had to name top three labels of all time, what would it be? Top three labels. Ooh, I don't. That's I good don't, stuff. I don't. You know, labels for like when you think labels, like you talking about like Dead even Jam, from back then. Yeah, Warner even from back then. Smaller, or, smaller, smaller, or larger, I never, whatever. I never really could. Under, but didn't get you know, into it. Yeah, like for me, it was all about the the uh, oh, the, the, uh, the, uh, well, the independent labels. You oh, know? Okay. You know, so I had you know from the rapper lots to the no limits to the. To the uh, cash babies, money, you know, yeah. That's all I ever, you know what I'm saying, thought really exists. I understand yeah, yeah. the other stuff. You know, maybe I heard like a Dev Jam, but I probably wouldn't even know, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, we, we from the South, Yeah, We don't even think about the big label. We just think. We from the South. You know, we just think like indie. Because like, you're going to get 
even bigger. So you're going to be like right. way up there or whatever. Yeah, already but, I always, but I always think about, you know, looking at all of these different labels and looking at, okay, what did you do wrong? What did you do right? So I can figure out, you know. And then they change and stuff. They change the rules. Do the yeah. 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 So different, you yeah. know, it's like. Every, time changes yeah. things so yeah. much. Yeah. Yeah. How like, did you like the era going from CDs, from from cassettes? Nigga, you ain't, you yeah, ain't just yeah, no yeah, young yeah, spring. Nah, from cassettes sure. to yeah. CDs to, to, to now just streaming. Yeah, you know, from the, from the, from the tapes, you know, you, you used to like them. You put the little uh, paper in there. Yeah, you know, yeah. The cord and tape over. Then it went to the CDs. And but you scratch it. Y'all had it going on. Y'all messed that up. That, uh, he used to mess up. that up. They yeah, had they the did. double. They had the they screw. Yeah. Then they had the regular music. And then they started mimicking everybody else and pissed yeah, me off. Yeah, they did, man. They, they <laughs> come in. They had them mixtapes. You know what I'm saying? Them mixtapes. They like had it going. The, uh, you were double dipping. Fan feds came in. Shout out to So, um... What else did you have for him, baby? You got anything else? We want to give him what we got to give him? Because we got presents yes. for you. Oh, we got love for you. Yes. Nah, you can, yeah, yeah, we got love for Come you. On, let me give him this first. Yeah, you got the Man, 1501. Yeah. There we go. Uh oh, there we go. That's it. That's it. That, 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 was, that was the whole game, man. Oh, yeah, for sure, right here. That's you right there, man. See, you knew that one was coming. You knew that one was coming. Had to. Man, but you didn't know, you didn't know this was this coming. Plaque. So we got you a plaque. Oh, okay. We, only yeah. certain people get that, uh, man. You know, we, we're awarding you with a plaque, man, to show that, uh, show appreciation, man. Appreciate Everything that, that you done I done. That, man, man. You, one thing we do on Boss Talk, man, we love you, and we you ain't going to forget us, because we're going to always check on you. Hey, man, I'll <laughs> come back. I'll come back with the whole crew. Man, I know, like man. Said. Hey, man, it's going down. We, we, you you going to present over here or over there? I'm going to do both places. Okay. So it says, um, presented to Carl Crawford in recognition of being a four-time All-Star in oh, the great. MLB, yeah. then successfully building 1501 Certified Entertainment, right. finding and developing new artists into megastars. Oh, yeah. Hey. That's it. You see what I'm saying, man? I appreciate that. Man, appreciate we definitely appreciate you, man. Like I, I said, we show that. love, man, because at the end of the day, we got to give you roses while we while we in your presence, to be honest. And while you're you. here, you while, know, because right. you always want to recognize people with their good work that they're doing. Yeah, right. I that's hate when I hate when later on something you know happened to anybody and everybody's jumping up and saying, "Oh, they did this, they did that," and trying yeah. to do all of that at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, just, it's easy to ride to you know. The way yeah, it's easy, yeah, it's, it's easy to you know step on the little guy when it's you know easy. But at the end of the day. Um, I appreciate you, man. Having, what you talking, man? You know man, saying? we just like I said. When you <laughs> think about, about it, bro, <laughs> when we, we see you, when you when I said I was trying to get you, I already knew in my mind. I'm like, when we get him, man, we gotta do this, that, and that right. because I respect you and I appreciate you. Right. You know what I mean? I, I see what you're doing, mm -hmm. and we need that. You right. know, we got to keep the music going, and then your legacy it's it's already recorded. People already know, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we know that, and I respect it. And you from Texas, nigga? Yeah, man. You gotta, <laughs> I gotta look a bit from Texas, bro. You gotta stand. Tight. We gotta stand on ground. <laughs> Have you started Can't teaching follow? your son anything about the business? Um, pfft, I'm, 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 if they, like I said, if they gravitate to it, I will. You know, okay. if they like they do, let them live their life. Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't force my kids to do nothing, even with sports. They all do it on their own. Their own. How many yeah. more you want? Um, I'm seeing that they still, they, you know, I'm. They having them in their fitness now, you know. Hey. I like to have these by two months. Two months yeah. already, like, man. And um, how many times have you been? Because you haven't been married yet, right? Mm -mm. Engaged? How many times? Uh, one time. One time. Right. So, um, I had a question that flew out of my head. I when that <laughs> happens, oh my well, god! I, I just, I, I, I'm gonna tell you. For me, man, like I said, when I when I think of you. I'm already, we celebrating early because I already know what's about to happen. The way you keep on grinding and the way you, you watching what you got going, mm -hmm. you can't do nothing but win. You know what I mean? And you just got to, and you got the right group of people around you too. You got some good level-headed dudes, man, uh, and girls that, that you working with. Uh, it's one more girl, female artist. Yeah, her name is uh, Martina Marie. She's okay. Coming, she's uh, my new uh, artist that's coming up. She's an R&B singer, but she raps too as well. So. I got to get on And she's show. real beautiful, so you know what I'm yeah, saying? She's yeah, yeah. She kind of captivate the audience. Little yeah, little she's out there. So we gonna see what we got going on. I got my other artist, uh, Stunner Bam. Yeah, I, I mentioned Stunner Bam, man. Bale, man. I gotta get him in the real world. Yeah, you know, and we just you know want to keep doing positive things to show that uh, we keeping that pop that pipeline going from yeah. Texas to the majors. Man, you know? what you talking, man? Yeah. Texas, you heard that Texas mm -hmm. to the majors? He ain't yeah. trying to hear it, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we trying to win around this thing, man. I just like I said, man. <laughs> did you have anything else? 
I'm still trying to remember. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, it's going to kill me. And as soon as we leave, I'm going to be like, oh, dang it. That's the question I was going to ask. That's all good, man. You know, um, we love you, Carl. So be good. honest with you. You family now. Once yep. we get you, we got you. I told you it's <laughs> over. Like, if people, and we be trying so hard to get people over. Some of them, God keep away. I really believe that, bro. Yeah, yeah. Because we good people, and I think that he 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 puts a hedge of protection around There's us. There's a time for You know what I mean? Yep, yep. And so when he went, when, but when he opened the door, people were like, oh, they, he, yeah, oh, yeah, that's the ones right there. I'm, so I thank God for you, man. I appreciate you know, it. and and I definitely I'm gonna keep an eye on the music. I'm gonna be watching. I'm gonna be listening. I'm gonna be streaming. We got some stuff coming up <laughs> the top of the year, you know, you know, top of the year, like yeah. you know, it's looking real fun. You know, yeah, like, you know, that's the thing. I try to keep you know my uh, fun spirit about everything to even when you know all the craziness happened. I bet. I still try to find like a happy place and fun in, place in the midst of I could just still enjoy everything. I'm, yeah because even reading a lot of the comments under a lot of the interviews that I've been seeing a lot of people are commenting and saying how humble you are right. a, a lot of people are now listening to your side and yeah. now right. you know taking your side with a lot of different things and I love that right. fact. Well I just have to like 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 I'm like being from Texas how we are and mm. just you know, like like just standing for what's right. Like I can't let my name go around and just right. be like this. At the end of the day, my kids gonna grow up. Everybody gonna see. I don't want them thinking I was just this uh, Suge Knight person who just you know. What Whoa, I mean? that's, that's a hell of a yeah. But that's, that's a that's one. Yeah, but but you right. gotta, you know what I'm saying. So it's like, man, I gotta prove, man, bro. I didn't do none of this stuff. Like, but I you're a boss. Clip so. my name, yeah. It ain't gonna matter. Yeah. You it don't matter what you yeah. do. Being yeah. a boss, you gonna get certain people that's gonna say right. this and that about you because right, of right. opportunity that they felt like they missed out on right. or that you didn't create for them. Right, that's right. a part of it, man. Yeah. I don't yeah. think you get away from that. Yeah, right. you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, you know, just just that one thing that kind of like you know made it seem like I was just. You know this 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 person. You know what I'm talking about. But yeah. At the end of the day, it don't drive me as much now. Like I said, I'll just don't worry about yeah, it. I, I, keep I, that I'm music coming. To, yeah, I'm focusing keep that, on that. Keep taking care of them artists and producing. Like getting everything out here to us. Like we need it, bro. Mm -hmm. And like I said, man. Um, how can people get a hold to you? Can people get a hold to you? Oh uh, yeah. Instagram can, uh, yeah, or Instagram is fifteen oh one certified ENT. I mean fifteen oh one entertainment. Um, and it should be right there. For sure, man. I just remembered what I was What's doing. your question? Okay, going back to the engagement part. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I got I to gotta ask those questions for the ladies. Because I know you were engaged to Evelyn. Right. And out of all the women you've dated, she was the only one that you proposed to. Right. What was it about her why you proposed compared to any other woman that you've been with? Uh, I mean, I just get, I just feel like I was in the moment. That's the moment I was in at the time, you know. She was uh, pregnant with my uh, son, and uh, you know, just felt like the right thing to do. You yeah. Know, at the time, so. Okay. Cause that's a big it. step. Yeah, it's a big step. You know, um, one that I didn't get to make, but at the end of the day, like I say, I was in the moment. When my, you know, my son was born. We was all in bliss. So felt it, felt like the right thing to do. Is that time. something you want to get married one day? Yeah, one day, of course. I don't yeah. want to be single no. forever. Man, no. Nah. Yeah, you you good. Be, you good. You know? <laughs> <laughs> What day, you know? Nah, he don't need to be that. I That's a woman people, thing. People, people think, you know, what brother, saying, you did. Yeah, well, yeah, you good. <laughs> no, you got your kids, don't you? Yeah, I do. Don't okay. listen to him. Yeah. The kids don't are going to be gone. That. They're going to grow up and be See, gone. That's the thing, and I don't want to never be <laughs> in the house by myself. I'd exactly. Rather, rather you need that partner. Yeah, yeah really somebody who can help you with everything. Yeah, and takes half your stuff when they leave. No, uh, uh, no. Look, look out, man! No. Uh, look out! No. <laughs> 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 Oh no! <laughs> so, um, man, thank you for coming on the show, man. We right. we definitely appreciate you. I know you got to get out of here. You got a flight to catch. Is what I'm hearing. Good. Let me see. No, nah, you. I think you're good. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Uh, we right. We're a little bit. I'm. I'm trying to stay yeah, on time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I respect your time, man. Yeah. But um, anytime you're in Dallas, man, feel free to holler at me and come by. If you want us to pull up, we pulling up, man. And um, anything. Um, Anything we can do from this end, as far as putting artists through or whatever, getting them on a good solid platform with some good solid individuals, man. Right, right. Boss Talk One Hundred One is where they need got to come. You, got you. I'm gonna bring them all up. Check it, man. Yeah. Hey, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk One Hundred One. And we out. Okay, Mr. Carl Crawford. This is an award from Boss Talk One Hundred One. Just to tell you, thank you for all of your work. It says presented to Mr. Carl Crawford in recognition of being a four-time All Star in the MLB. 
then successfully building 1501 certified entertainment, finding and developing new artists into megastars. Man. Right. Thank hey, you. hey, you're welcome, man. Thank Just you. giving out Thank roses you. while you're here, man. Appreciate it. We have big love, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate Keep on pushing, man, for the Appreciate South, for that. Texas. You I'm see what it going. is. We you see what it stop. is. We're not going to stop. We're going to keep going to all the way till we get to the top. Yes, sir. Holla at your boy.